Hello fellow board gamers, this is Marcel, you are lord of the games and as a lord of the games I definitely own a lot of board games and I think most of my games do contain miniatures. I just love Merry Trash and miniature games and of course I like to paint them and as a painter I have these storage solutions, these boxes where there are colors from all of the different companies. And you see the storage solution is simple crap and um, my wife hates these boxes standing around in the house everywhere and I do have a stupid storage solution for my brushes uh, as well. Here you see some of my brushes I really don't know where to store them and and it's, it's, a, it's a huge concern as I am searching for colors all the time when I want to paint I don't know where my colors are and here comes 3D Art Lab they do have a really, really nice storage solution, I think. And it's their paint rack. Here you see that paint rack. You know 3D Art Lab from Dogfighters, The Ale Wars, where I did some preview videos um, because I like the game. And uh, here, this is the complete, the finished, assembled rack, which promised to hold all colors from all different companies. And it's modular, so you can adjust it how you want it. You can mount it on the wall. But stop talking now, a lot of the board games. Um, I will show you how it works. And then, in the end, we meet again here when I tell you how I like it. Stay tuned. And here you have it. Uh, this is, let's say, the complete product range. You do see the, let's call it, edge rack and two times the straight rack. I have different layers here for different kind of colors from different companies, but all of them, you see, serve the same purpose. You can store all of your colors, whether it's Citadel, it's Games Workshop, it's um, Army Painter Vallejo, and co, you can store all of them as you have these different kind of layers. You can um, select whichever layer you like to. Uh, um, you can see it here while there is these um, big holes for Citadel. There you can see the small holes. And you even have layers for Tamika color. Um, you can exchange them within seconds. Yeah. These are not glued. This is important to know. Um, also important to know that um, you will get them delivered non-built. So you have to glue them. And I will remove the straight edges first to talk about it in detail. So the racks are made of wood. This kind of wood here. Um, it's very um, non-heavy. So you can lift it very easy. It's um, easy to assemble it and you just use uh, common wood glue. And these layers, which hold your colors, they are just to be removed and to be put again there. So you can always select the layer you like to and the layer you need to for your own colors. Um, before we talk about a storage solution of colors, let's talk about this special one here. You see, for example, here, uh, I, I want to um, take some contrast colors as they stand up a bit further. Here, you can insert them and you have big holes here too in, in the top layer, but you don't necessarily need to uh, put it in the top layer. I just did that because of the big things here for for grass or the acrylic retarder and now you see these little holes and these are really important because you can just insert your brushes which I really think is a cool solution and even your tank brush um, doesn't shake when you put it here because there is a second layer here you see it down there which will then hold and fix your brushes. Very nice idea, I think. And remember, if you don't need it or if you don't like it, just remove it like this and take another layer, which I removed 
as I did not use the Tamika ones. But you can do it, it's really easy and I think it's a cool idea. You can, in the end, um, as they are all modular, um, assemble them how you like it. Probably I will use this um, formation as I do want to put it in a corner. We will talk about fixing it uh, on the wall, mounting it on the wall, but probably you want to just put it on your shelf or on your table like this. If you do have fewer space, you can also use this one, or probably if you have a straight table standing somewhere in the middle of the room, you can do it this way. And um, we will talk about these accessories later where we can put them together so that nothing is shaking anymore. But I think it's a really cool solution. Let's now talk about the straight racks. Yeah, they just serve the same purpose as did the uh, corner rack. But here's some interesting thing. Um, I will take the Games Workshop colors here again. Oh, let, let's really take some big ones as they just look better there. Um, here I use these technical colors. They are really big and you can of course, or a shade here, you can just insert them like this. Here it's also for this rust color. I don't even know the publisher of it and it looks great and it's, it's cool. Yeah, they don't drop out. But 3D Art Lab, they have another solution for storing your colors and I like that really more. This is like a Tribune solution, I would call it. I don't know if you, they call it too. And if you look here, I inserted these wooden pieces. You can easily remove them here, like you see. They are not glued to. And you see there are some marks here. And if I return the plate here, the layer, then you see that there's a mark here. And the mark is the same as you find here in the bottom of all these things. Um, and you can push it here and you say here is the same mark. I think you understand what I want to express. You always put these wooden tiles in the holes that are the same as here and then you just put the plate back on top of it. It's, it's definitely the same. But now see how that works. I will take my contrast colors and what you see is that the whole thing looks different. To me it looks a little bit nicer as now the contrast paints in the first row here, they are a bit lower than in the second row and it's like uh, steps. Yeah, this is a technical paint again. It's like steps so that when you are sitting in front of the rack on your table, before your table, you can see the colors in the last rows just a bit better. Yeah, you, well, I don't, I don't need more contrast paints. So um, here, probably this is easier to see now. Um, it's, a, it's a Tribune solution. Even if it's mounted on the wall or it's just standing there, you can grab them easier or you can see easier which color it is. It's, it's, it's a very cool idea, I think, and it just looks cool and awesome. So this is the next cool thing you can do. Um, and please remember, you don't have to do it. And this is the core concept of the modularity of all these racks. You can select what you want, what you like, and the way it looks perfect to you is the correct way. It's all up to you. Now, I talked a bit about that they are not really uh, yeah, perfectly standing there, but it's very easy to solve. I lay them down here and we were talking about these brackets here. These brackets come with the rack. They are wooden, the same material as you have here. Um, I did attach them to it 
to uh, fix that and I could release it, but it's very hard to get them uh, away from it. You need a screwdriver. I used a screwdriver to put them away and you put them here and you put them there uh, and it makes click and then it's definitely fixed and then nothing is shaking anymore. I will show you the part where you attach it and this is correctly here and here. So you use two brackets when you want to assemble two of these racks. It just works the same with this edge tile here, with this edge rack. And this is part of the modularity concept. You can just combine it how you like it. And in the beginning, I told you, you can just put it on the table, which really looks nice. But there are some people who just do not have enough space for it on the table, or they have too much things on the table and just no more space is left. And for these are the wall mounts. Please keep in mind, you have to glue it and yeah, you need approximately five to 10 minutes to do it, but you just do it once. And then you glue it here to the rack, two of these on each rack. Then you have this result. And okay, let's put this away because this is just sufficient to show it with this one. You can then um, hold it to the wall where you want it to be mounted and just um, put your screw in the wall, attach it there, and then it looks really, really nice on your wall. So I think it's a really cool solution and we will see each other on the camera for a last time. And there, ladies and gentlemen, we have it, the big board game painting rack, the storage solution for all of your colors. Really, guys, I did not find a single color in my selection which did not fit here. There were even too many of these inserts. I personally can put that away, but probably I will buy them too from uh, once. Uh, it's really cool that these are interchangeable. You can just remove it, put it to another space because your collection of colors may change. And I really appreciate the modularity of these racks as everybody of us do have another uh, situation in your house, on your table or on the wall. Personally, I will fix it um, to my wall. I will not put it on my table as my airbrush eats up a lot of space. I also appreciate this Tribune solution, which I presented to you. I really like it very much because I want to see my colors every time. I don't want to search for them. And um, there I ca can see it in, in seconds. So I think this is the end of my stupid storage solution here with all my colors. And oh, I forgot to talk and uh, to say it's it's cool that you can put your brushes in there as well as all your bigger tins. So to me, this is the perfect painting solution. Uh, yeah, and now it's up to you to ask whichever question you have. Leave me a comment if you liked the video. Just give me a thumb up. And if you want to see more, then subscribe to my channel, ring the bell, and I say thank you for attending this video. I am out. See you the next time, Marcel. You're a lot of the board games.